every other hand. This is so disgusting. That poor mom, imagine finding out you're rubbing someone's coochie blood on your face. I'm good. Hey guys, it's Sharon. Welcome to your welcome back to my channel. Now it is no secret that I absolutely love spilling sipping tea on this channel. In this case, exposing the secrets that you're keeping from your parents, which if there are people we keep secrets from in our lives, it is most definitely our parents. This is probably gonna be some of the most worst secrets you can ever keep because truly that's the stuff you don't want your parents to know. The stuff that would make them feel so ashamed and embarrassed to call you their kid. So this is gonna be a great video. If you want to see more videos like this, give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. This is a series and this is not the first episode of this series. If you would like to see more of these episodes, go check out my secrets you're keeping from dot 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 playlist on my channel. And as for parents, I have no idea what part this is, but it ain't the first one. So lots of bingeable content out there for you. And if you would like to see more of this or even get a chance to expose your tea in my videos, make sure you subscribe and turn on those post notifications. But now go grab your snacks, go grab your tea and go grab your parents if you're bold. Let's play a game. Let's see hey mom and dad can you guess which of these is mine <laughs> even if you didn't get into the video we should still do that that sounds fun let's get into this in fifth grade my friend and i figured out about the devil's tango because we saw a condom infomercial and googled it there are condom infomercials have i ever seen a condom commercial can i genuinely remember a condom commercial the fact that there is an infomercial for condoms what info are you gonna give you literally just wrap it on and i mean you're good right you open you pop that sucker on and that's it right i don't understand what other information could be giving in this infomercial but now i kind of want to see a condom infomercial at least you learned about the devil's tango because when I was in fifth grade, I thought the devil's tango meant sleeping together with someone of the opposite sex under the covers and then suddenly a baby just pops out. So you're way ahead of me in life. <laughs> My ex-girlfriend's mom walked in on us and when she asked, we told her it was a TikTok dare. <laughs> I guess for what it is, it's not the world's most horrible save. I, I would kind of believe it if I was like a clueless parent. I'd be like, yeah, that darn TikTok is making all these kids do these stupid challenges. It made those kids eat Tide Pods. I wouldn't be surprised if it's making those kids have sex. What would be the hashtag? Like sex challenge? I don't know. If mom believed that, genuinely, I am so concerned for mom. Like, sis, you can't be that gullible. <laughs> and if mom is that gullible, dude, where do I get a mom like that? Holy crap. <laughs> My parents are divorced and I still haven't told them the real reason why. My parents used to argue a lot when they were together and they were really mean. I didn't like it, so my sister and I came up with a plan to split them up. We took something from my mom and blamed it on my dad. We even told my dad that my mom was cheating on him and sent my mom fake messages from an unknown phone, which was my sister's friend's phone. We did some other things and finally they ended up getting a divorce. This is like reverse parent trap. I don't know how I feel about this. Cause on one end, like, okay, the parents were already arguing a lot. They were on the brink of a divorce, but I feel like that's still something that you should let the couple decide for themselves versus you pushing the couple to do it, especially when you're lying about mom cheating. How did that play out? Dad must think mom is a really good liar. Him being like, what do you mean you don't know this person? What do you mean you don't know what we are talking about? Look at the messages. Mom, that poor woman must have felt so gaslit and so confused. I don't know, man. I feel like this is horrible. I feel like this is really bad. But you know, on the other hand, like me trying to play devil's advocate and rationalize this, it's like, if you truly love the other person and the marriage was truly that successful, it would have been worked through. I don't know. Maybe not. This one's rough. Do you think this is messed up or you think this is okay? I feel like I'm definitely leaning towards more messed up. I have a crush on my dad. No. My parents don't know I'm dating this boy and whenever he comes over, I have to sneak him in from the basement door or tell them I'm hanging out with my friends and get my friends to cover for me. My friends and I have a whole album of photos of us vaguely being together so we can text each other's parents as proof. That is genius. Oh my god, I wish I knew that when I was younger. That is so freaking smart. Just next time you're with your friends, <laughs> me teaching kids how to sneak around their parents, and that's what my channel is apparently. Parents, please don't unsubscribe. Um, <laughs> next time you're with your friends, take a bunch of photos together of you just like hanging out in bed, doing dumb stuff, playing video games, eating cereal. Save it to a freaking folder and there you got it. That's so smart. Until you accidentally send the same photo and mom is like, that's really weird. That's the exact same photo. So just like after you use it once, just delete it. But honestly, big brain move, big brain. My parents schedule sex so they know they have time for each other. They stick a condom on the calendar on the days they have to have sex. When I was seven, I thought it was a pen holder and I wanted to break their pens. So I cut a hole in it. Eight months later came my sister. Listen, honestly, I can't even blame the kid in this situation. I don't blame you at all for 
accidentally poking a hole in the condom and thus creating your little baby sister by doing so. I blame the parents for sticking a condom on their calendar. First of all, that's weird, dude. Sex isn't weird. It's weird when my parents are having sex. So if I see my parents' schedule and there's just a little condom right there, that's disgusting. I will throw up in my mouth. I don't want to see that. Second of all, how are you going to stick a condom on a calendar? That's like asking for something horrible to happen to the condom. You couldn't use a sticker, a little red heart. You couldn't have done anything else. Even like a little sticky note saying sex. Even writing sex in the calendar is better than using a condom. They wanted to have that kid. They wanted to. I was talking to a guy that already had a kid and he broke my heart because he basically cheated on me. BTW were 16. This man already had a kid at 16. Oh my gosh, I can't. I am 24 years old and I still feel like a child. So I personally can't picture myself having a kid. On the bright side though, at 16 years old, listen girl, you got the rest of your life to find a man and you can find men that won't break your heart and don't have kids either. So that's not to say guys with kids suck or anything. I'm just saying at 16 years old, you still got a lot of time ahead of you. You're fine. <laughs> my parents don't know that I've gotten my period, not even my mom. I got it about six years ago and get period supply secretly. My mom said that she made a doctor's appointment to see if anything is wrong. I'm in too deep. Girl, you need to tell your mom right now because next thing you know, you're at the doctor's office and your doctor's gonna run some tests and your doctor's gonna be like, your daughter is on her period. Your daughter is bleeding out of her coochie. I don't know what to tell you, mom. And I don't know if there's actually a test to know if you're on your period or not like that, but like, dude, six years to keep your period a secret? Why? I get being embarrassed like the first or second time you get your period, but like after some time, you should tell your guardian, your parent, whoever, because it's not like your period is this really secret taboo thing. It's just, it's as natural as peeing. So this is very strange to me. Just tell your mom you got your period. That's it. You don't got to go to the doctor's office. I'd be pissed as hell if I paid like $200 to go see a specialist because I don't think my daughter has her period just to be told your daughter has a period and has been hiding it from you. I'd be pissed at my daughter for lying and I'd be pissed because my daughter made me spend hella money for her lies. Think about that. I didn't tell my parents I snuck out just for ice cream. This is, this is my favorite secret. This one's so wholesome. This is exactly what I would do. Literally the other night, it was like 11.45 p.m. I was like, you know what I'm craving? A McDonald's soft serve ice cream. So I didn't sneak out because you know, I'm a, I'm a grown ass woman now, but like I did it. I went and got my ice cream and I would have done it if I needed to sneak out too. I feel that. I was like 11 at the time and I took my pads and squeezed them into a bottle, then filled a paint bottle with the period blood I collected and gave it to my mom when she loved to paint. But then I started to regret it when she spilled some on her hands and face, smiley face. So question, do you like actually love your mom or do you hate her? Cause see, my thing is if someone gifted me period paint, my first thought isn't, oh my God, they love me so much. My first thought is they hate me. They absolutely despise me. And I don't know what I did to this person, but I truly must have just completely did a number on them. It's the fact that this person sat there, took their dirty bloody pads and just squeezed it like it was a freaking lemon collecting the blood. I am so, oh my God, no, no dude, please don't do this. You know, on one end, it's very natural paint. There is always a pro to every negative situation when you really think about it. But on literally every other hand, this is so disgusting. That poor mom, imagine finding out you're rubbing someone's coochie blood on your face. I'm good. I recently started college in a new town. My mom keeps telling me I should go out and get a boyfriend, but she doesn't know I've been having a boyfriend for three years. And to be honest, I don't even like him anymore. I just don't know how to break up with him. <laughs> so much to unpack here. Okay, your mom's telling you to get a boyfriend. Just be like, mom, honestly, every guy I've ever met is trash. I don't want to date them. I'm good. I don't want a boyfriend. Mom, I want to focus on my studies. I don't want a boyfriend right now. Mom, I don't need a man, period. No explanation, actually. Mom, I don't want a boyfriend. That's it. Second of all, breaking up with a boyfriend that you have secretly, but you don't want to have anymore. Oh my God, genius idea. Tell your boyfriend your mom doesn't think he's good enough for you, so you have to break up with him because your mom is making your life just horrible, a nightmare for being with him. Boom, you use one to blame the other and you blame the other by using the other one. <laughs> Just hope they never meet each other. Or honestly though, you could just take the easy route and just be like, I wanna break up. But you know, what's the fun in that? <laughs> I know about their stash of used tampons and condoms in their closet. So do you also know that your parents are really freaking weird and maybe in a cult question mark? Cause that is really disturbing and disgusting. And I truly see no reason as to why you would need to stash used tampons and used condoms. That sounds like some freaky ritual thing going on. Literally the only thing I could think of. That's weird. That's so gross. I don't want to know what they're doing with that. I don't want to think about what they're doing with that. All I know is your parents 
got some issues. Low key though, if it was me, I would throw that away. And then when they confront me and they'd be like, did you throw away our box of tampons and use condoms? I could freak out and be like, ew, why did you have one of those anyways? That's disgusting. And then make them feel bad for having one in the first place. Cause truly appalling. When I moved out of my parents' house, they missed me so much they got a dog. I was happy that they were less lonely, but they started to treat the dog like me and give him my old room. They stopped calling and when I visited, they barely talked to me, just the dog. I was so tired of that that I took the dog to get his nails trimmed, but really I brought him to a shelter 50 miles away. I said that he ran away, but they've never gotten over me. You're a horrible person. Imagine being jealous of a dog. You're so wrong for that. That is so messed up. That poor dog did nothing to you. If there is anything I will ever be defensive about, it is dogs. Absolutely the most innocent creatures ever. Girl, boy, whatever you are, that dog would only be like 13, 14, 15 years old max. It's not like it's the rest of your life. It's not like your parents went out and had another baby and generally made this baby their favorite kid. Like, oh my God, no, no, you need help. You need to face your insecurities and you need to go find that dog. I have half the mind to find this dog, adopt the dog, and bring it back to your parents. You should be so ashamed. I hid my pregnancy for nine months and then gave birth in the woods. I took my baby and left her in the infertile neighbor's living room. She's now 11 and my parents call her their substitute grandchild. They have no idea. This sounds, this honestly, this sounds like some like lifetime movie. This sounds like a then and over nothing right here. Like that is crazy. First of all, imagine hiding a pregnancy for nine months. I could never do that. I'd be like, yeah, Mom, um, I just put on a couple of pounds. My stomach is just really round um, because all my weight just goes to my tummy. It's crazy. It, it, it looks like I ate three basketballs. I know. I. How do you do that? How do you hide a pregnancy for nine months? How do you get away with hiding a pregnancy for nine months, especially if you live with your parents? I'm assuming this person lives with their parents because they gave the baby to the neighbors. That's, I can't. You know, though, kid has a happy life. What they don't know won't hurt them. Okay. Well, we can agree. Although I feel like a lot of kids that were adopted may not agree about not knowing who their actual birth parents are. So maybe not, but that's crazy. My boyfriend and I used their old condom once because we couldn't find any new ones. Now I have an infection. I mean, I could have told you that was going to happen. I want you to think about what this says. I used a used condom. So not only are you using a condom that was inside your mom, but it was also a condom that is holding your dad's juices. <laughs> No, you just shared parts of your parents that I would never, ever want to share. I think I am pansexual, but I don't want to tell anyone, so I shall anonymously tell all of you. I am so proud of you. I accept you, and I love you, and we all do too. And if you don't, get out of here. This channel is not for you. We love everyone here. Thanks. Antibiotics make birth control ineffective. Once I had an ear infection and didn't want to take my pills, so I stuck them in my mom's sandwich. She had twins seven months later. Y'all really out here getting your parents pregnant. No way, dude. I'd be so pissed if I found out the reason I got pregnant was because of my kid. So I have to pay for these quinceañeras and these kids colleges and these sweet 16s and these brand new cars because of you i'm good but i actually didn't know that actually until like recently when i had to get antibiotics for my sinus infections my doctor told me by the way if you're on birth control your birth control will be ineffective with these that is not the first time i've taken antibiotics but that is the first time i've been told that how are we not telling people that so that's a little fun fact but yeah antibiotics make birth control ineffective good to freaking know <sighs> but anyways i did get a little heated back there i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Shout out of the day goes to Toledo on Instagram. I hope I said your name right. If you would like to be shout out of the day, just follow me on my Instagram and stay active. Also, make sure you follow my Twitter and my TikTok so you have a say in my videos and you get a chance to be in them and you get bonus content. Now, if I did not get to share the secret that you are hiding from your parents today, but you would like to share it with us, please leave that in the comments below if you dare. And like I said, this isn't the first time I've made this video. If you want to go check out more episodes, make sure to go binge my secrets you're keeping from playlist. And if there's a video you want to see from me, let me know in the comments below. But make sure you're subscribed and your post notifications are turned on and my camera battery is dying. Perfect timing. Okay, bye. I love you. Stop traumatizing your parents and me. Okay, bye.